Welcome to Amplified. My name is Rachel Reed and you don't know how excited I am. I'm just like so excited to have you starting the new year with us. You know, we just had an awesome um, several months of Amplified journey and we're going to continue on the journey here in 2023. I'm telling you, God is doing some great things and I hope and I know and I believe that God's going to do continue to do great things in us and you and I and our journey here in Amplified where we're making God greater, larger, louder and more powerful in our lives because he is that. I hope you're building up that excitement with me. I hope you're believing that with me because I'm speaking words of life into you because God wants us to speak that one to another. He wants us to share words of life with each other. I hope you've been doing that. I hope you had an opportunity to do that during this past year. I hope that you had the opportunity to share and speak life into your family, your friends, your coworkers, and everywhere you were because that's what we need to be doing with one each, with each other. You and I need to be speaking words of life. And today we're gonna to continue talking about the power of your words. We're gonna enter in this new year, continuing with the same theme, because that's what Amplified is about. That's exactly what this journey of being amped up is all about. It's about being excited and speaking the words of God that he gives us, speaking words of truth, speaking words of encouragement, because the Bible tells us that we need to encourage ourselves. You and I need to encourage ourselves, yes, this coming year, we don't know what it's going to hold, but one thing that I do know that it holds, it holds truth, it holds hope. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hope overflows. That's right. It overflows. It's not just hope. It overflows because we have him. He is hope. Jesus is hope. God has hope in your life and my life. And I want to let you know that it overflows. It's going to carry on over into this coming year. Everything that was a disappointment to you last year, leave it back there. Any disappointment, anything that kind of just brought you down, leave it back there. Leave it back there and don't pick it back up because there's going to be some great things coming for you this coming year. Hope is going to be, I'm going to let you know, hope is coming for you. Hope is coming after you. Hope is following you. God has got some great things for you. God is hope. Jesus is hope. He's right there. All you got to do is say, I want that hope. I want it to overflow in my life. I want you to op overflow my walk. I want you to overflow my talk. I want you to overflow my job. I want you to overflow my school. I want you to overflow my family, with my friends. I want it to overflow. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm excited about that. Get your Bible, get your pen, your paper. And I hope you already called your friends and your family or whoever got them joining you right there. And once again, make sure you're adding, uh, if you have any questions, any comments, anything as we're going along, go ahead and plug them in right there so we can go ahead and um, answer some of the questions that you may have. All right, it's important. Thank you for doing that. All right, we're so excited. Let's jump right on in. Romans 15, 13. Once again, Romans 15, 13. And I hope you found the right Bible, by the way. We've been talking about all these things throughout the year. We're going to just continue on the journey. And I might be reminding you of some stuff that we talked about before. And that's okay, right? I hope you're okay with that. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all. Let's stop right there. Wait, let me just gotta stop right there. That's a great part. May the God of hope. It didn't say the God of hate. Didn't say the God of hurt. Didn't say the God of anger. Didn't say the God of fear. Didn't say the God of hatred. Didn't say the God of, of craziness. It didn't say that. It said the God of hope. I mean, my goodness, that's amazing. That is amazing how much hope you and I can have. You and I can have that hope. Oh my goodness, I can't, I, mean, I can't contain how excited I am. You know why? You know why I'm excited? First of all, we made it through another year. First of all, right there. Second of all, I'm looking forward to greatness. What God is going to do even greater in our lives, in your life, in my life. When you begin to have an outlook like that, but Rachel, I can hear you saying it already. Rachel, you're so excited. Why are you so Stop right there. It's all about how you, I can't speak for you. I can speak for me. I can't speak for you. The moment you decide to change what you say and how you say it, things will start changing in your life. Start to speak hope. Start to speak hope in your life. Don't start saying it's not going to happen for me. I can't do it. I can't. Well, then you know what? <laughs> you keep saying that. That's exactly where you'll be. Same time next year, you'll be right there because that's what you're speaking. Change it up. I challenge you. Change it up. I challenge you. Did you hear me? I challenge you. Is the challenge accepted? Change it up a little bit right there. It says, may the God of hope fill you. It says it's going to fill you. It didn't just say it's going to just give you a little bit of hope. It's going to fill you. What does it mean to fill when something is full? You don't want to put a little bit of tank of gas. You want to fill the tank of gas. You don't want just a little bit of soda. You want to fill the cup. You want it full to overflowing, right? We're talking about overflows here. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust him. You have to trust him for that. So that you may overflow with the hope 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's saying that that God of hope is there to fill you with all the joy and the peace, but you got to trust him. That's your part right there. He's already ready to do it. But your part says, as you trust him, you, you got to trust him. He's already there ready to fill you. He's already ready to give you the hope. He's already there to give you the joy. You have to trust him for that. You have to say, God, I, that's for me. That's for me. The faith of you is the faith that you have in you right now is to say, that's for me. Can you say that right now? Lord, that is for me. Take that for you because that's for you because it's for me. I'm taking that for me too. And to overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. That power that God's going to give you and me, you and I, we're going to get that power to just, just do these great things in God. He's going to overflow us. going to give us the hope that's going to overflow. Well, 2022 is in the books and we welcome 2023 and we're entering the new year. Uh, we're going to be focused on the blessings. We're going to be focusing on the gratitude that we can. First of all, blessings and gratitude. Those are two things that some of you are saying. How could you say that, Rachel? It was not blessed and I can't be grateful of things that went bad. Okay, there we go again. Change how you say what you say. One of the things that God wants to do is he wants us to have that attitude of gratitude. That rhymed. Attitude of gratitude. When you begin to be thankful for the things that God is doing, the things that God has done, God can't help but continue to bless you. God can't help but continue to do things in our lives because of how we're navigating our lives. We're being thankful through the good and the bad. Yes, things are not always going to be perfect. We know this. There's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be things that are going to come our way that we're like, well, how did that happen? Yeah, things will happen. But just continue to be thankful. Continue to be grateful. Continue to have hope that things will get better. Continue to have hope that God will help you. Continue to have hope that God will see you through. Continue to hope that things will change. That's what hope is. It's something that you have to believe. You have to trust him for that. You have to trust that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. We're the ones that mess up and don't keep our bar part of the bargain. He already said he's going to do it. What are you doing about believing that? What are you doing about trusting him for that? You know, it's important that we need to see God for what he says he is. You know, many people take this time, you know, you, you keep hearing about these, these New Year's resolutions, you know. So what is your New Year's resolution? I'm not, I'm not going to be that person, but I mean, think about it. What are some things that you want to see different in your life? What are the things that you want God to do? What are some things that you need to do and want to do in the coming year? You know, some people, some people say, I want to lose weight. Some people say, I want to get a better job. I want to travel. I want to, I mean, there's a lot of things that people say, I want to be a better parent. You know, I, I don't know what your resolution is or, but one thing that's for sure, one thing I could tell you for sure is God has given you promises. God has, has made some wonderful promises for you. And if you don't know what they are, I want to challenge you right now. Ask God, God, what does your word say is for me? What do you say is for me? What do you say I have to look forward to? What are some things for me? I want to challenge you again, once again, every day, read your word every day. If you get a time, make a time. If you don't have a time, make a time, find some time to read his word, find some time to take a minute. I don't want to say a minute, but take a time to find a scripture, to find something to read so that you're able to grow in the things of God. I want to challenge you. That's very important that you and I begin to add as we're learning and going through this amplified journey about speaking words of life, about saying the things that God wants us to speak. How do we know what God wants to say if we don't know what he says? So make sure that make some time to learn what he says. There are several scriptures that can inspire you in the renewing of your heart and mind. You know, everybody hears the scripture all the time. If Jeremiah 29, 11, if you've never heard it, that's the simplicity of this one. It says, he goes, uh, there's one that where Jesus, where Jeremiah, he's talking about declaring the promises. Listen to this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. Plans to give you a future and a future filled with hope. Wow. Didn't that sound good? You and I, that's a promise. That's a promise, you and I. A promise to succeed and have a future filled with hope. Hmm, do I want that? Yeah, of course I do. If you don't want that, hmm, you better check the pulse. <laughs> you must want that. You must want to have a future filled with hope and success. Different version says success. You're going to be successful in all your ways. I want to be successful in all my ways. Everything I, I do, I want to be successful in. Whatever I say, whatever I put my hands to, I want it to prosper. I want it to be successful. I hope you do. I want it to be successful in my life. Now, if you messed up and made some wrong choices and decisions and things in 2022, and you're like, uh oh, let me tell you, there's always hope. 
there's always hope that for, for God. For always for, for God's going to do something. I'm just telling you right now. God will do something. God will turn things around. But you need to make some. You and I need to make some decisions to turn that around as well. It's important. God wants us to know that if we look to Him, if we seek Him, we trust Him, He can get us through the situations from from what happened before. He can get us through. He can help you to get through the memories, the things that may have hurt you, the, the the things that may have happened that weren't okay. God can help you through those. He will give you hope to overflow, to overflow through all those things that are trying, the memories that are trying to, somebody hurt you, somebody did something, all that. all that hope will overflow. Allow God to let him overflow in you. You know, the word of God says in 2 Corinthians 5, 1, if anyone says, therefore, if anyone is in Jesus, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. He's new. So whatever happened in 2022, jump into 2023, all new. Allow God to start all fresh and all new in you. Just say, God, you know what? Forgive me for what I did in 2022. It was, I, it was wrong. I made some mistakes. I, I, you know, I don't want to do them again. I don't want to repeat those mistakes. Lord, I want to be new. Renew my mind. Let me start all over, Lord God. Well, good thing for, for the word of God. He says that if, it says this right here, if anyone was in Christ, he's a new creation, cre- creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And I can tell you that there's hope for you. There's hope for you today. There's hope for you in 2023. There's always hope. Don't let the disappointments of 2022 or the words that other people have told you bring disappointment and take over your heart and mind. Don't, don't allow them because there's hope in Jesus. There's hope in him. And I heard somebody say it before, and I'm, I'm not going to take steal his thunder, but he used to always say that we got to be hope dealers. You and I got to be hope dealers. That's right. Be a hope dealer. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> you got to be a hope dealer. I don't want to deal and, and tell people about discouragement. I don't want to discourage people. I want to bring them hope. I'll be a hope dealer to you right now. Jesus gives you hope. There's hope in him. You know, there's hope in God. I want to encourage you to know that the only hope that we have in this world and in America is in Jesus. Perhaps you set your sights on everything around you and it's become overwhelming for you and you want to give up. Let me encourage you to stand strong on his word. He is the hope in your life. There's no other hope but in Jesus. There's no amount of money, no fame, no prestige or position will ever take place of that hope that God has for you and the hope that we have in him. Together, let's learn to allow the words of God to direct our paths. Allow the words to align with his word. Let your words align with his words. That's why it's important that we know. We must learn to watch what we say and how we say it. Start the year right. I want to encourage you to start the year right. Start the year with words of hope and encouragement. Start the year learning to use words wisely with strategy and purpose. Let's watch what we say. Psalms 141.3. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep a watch over the door of my lips to keep me from saying things I shouldn't say. It's important. You know, it also says in a, in a different version, it says, Lord, help me control my tongue. Help me to be careful about what I say. How many of us is that? Okay, how many of us is that? The word of God says that. We can pray that. We can say that out loud. Write it down. First is Psalms 141.3. Write it down. Help me to control my tongue. Help me to be careful about what I say. This year together, all of those that have been along the journey with us, go ahead and let's begin knowing that we serve a great and mighty God and he's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we ask or think. Because that's what the word of God says. Yes, he knows those things that matter to us. He knows it all. If you think he doesn't know what matters to you, you're wrong. He knows exactly what matters to you. He knows exactly what you year looked like last year and what your year ahead is going to look like. He already knows what your year, your 2023 is going to look like. He knows what your 2024 is going to look like. He knows ahead. He sees it all. He sees the things that you have need of. Yes, he understands the things that you're going through and he knows how to get you through them. We trust in a God that knows the things that are in our heart. That's what I'm saying. He will show us how to navigate the decisions and the directions in our lives. If you allow him, if you allow God to direct your path, because it says in all your ways, acknowledge him. Begin to acknowledge him starting today, starting right now. Say, God, you know what? You know what? Rachel's right. I want to go ahead and trust in that God of hope. I'm going to take that hope for me. I want it to overflow in my life. And I want to acknowledge you in every area of my life, in my walk, in my talk, in my family, in my, with my work, in my surrounding, in my school, wherever I go, Lord, I want to acknowledge who you are. I want to make sure that you are right in the middle of everything that I do, because I want you to direct my path. Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust him. 
so that you may overflow with the hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to read that again. I want to leave you beginning 2023 with this scripture, Romans 15, 13. Once again, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust him so that you may overflow with the hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So I want to encourage you this year as you celebrate 2023 with us, we're going to go on a journey together. Stay excited, be excited because God is going to do great things. I want you to believe that. I hope you feel that excitement and encouraging me because I want it to transfer over to you. I want you to know that you are going to be successful. You are going to do great things this year. You are going to have hope that overflows. Your hope is going to overflow greater and better than you think because you and I have a God who is greater, larger, louder, and more powerful in our lives. Make sure you invite somebody to join us next week as we continue on. Chug along the journey and amplify. Become amped up and do some great things in God. So until next time, don't forget, God is awesome. God is great. And once again, Happy New Year. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye now. Bye.